my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole. I post a lot of different videos on this channel, including cleaning, mom content. I also film um, cool videos with my husband. And I'm going to start doing some more vlogs and just kind of story times and pr pretty much everything. So go ahead and check it out. And if you like any of them, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss when I post another video. If you guys would have asked me in high school to film this video, I definitely would say no. So this is a video that I've been thinking about in my head for a few years now. If you guys didn't know, I did YouTube for a little bit um, a couple years ago, a few years ago. Some videos in high school I even did, but I'm starting it over again and this is probably one of the videos that I felt like I needed to get out there um, and if you guys didn't know but I've had a skin disorder for about nine years now and it has not been the easiest to talk about until now which I feel comfortable in my skin I don't care what anyone says about my skin anymore and I feel like I'm more informed and educated on my skin disorder so if you want to learn more about it or if you have the same skin disorder please leave a comment below or let me know if you have any other types of skin disorders because I feel like I can relate to you in some type of way so if you do let me know I'm interested um, so yeah without getting a little too emotional to say the least I've had my skin disorder since my sophomore year in high school I think at the end of the year is when I started to show you know signs of my skin disorder and it started off as a small like tiny little scab um, on my bottom of my leg and I'm actually gonna film a little video and post it on the side so you guys can see what I'm talking about but that's the spot where they actually uh, a biopsy to figure out what kind of skin disorder I had or what was going on so backtracking, when I was a sophomore, I showed my mom and my, I showed my parents, you know, my leg and, you know, it was itchy, like it wouldn't go away. It was like a scab that would just not go away. I've, I've, I had it for a few months and I was like, what is this? Like, you know, normal scabs heal and they go away. They don't just stay on your body. And then I started noticing that on top of my feet, I was starting to get scabs. On the bottom of my feet I would get scabs, on my arms, my back, um, even like on top of my head I had a few. And they're like scabs that would um, like be scaly and then they would just kind of peel and it would just be like open skin and it would bleed, it would hurt, it would itch extremely. Um, it would get scaly and it was just a whole bunch. Um, that was going on so mentioned it to my parents and of course my parents took me in it took four different skin doctors um, to figure out what I had I was diagnosed with so many things I even remember getting an asthma test to see if that was causing it I remember um, a lady telling me I just oh it's eczema you know it, it'll go away use this cream um, most of my doctors that I went to go see would be like, try this cream, try that cream, try this steroid. Nothing would help. If anything, it made my skin worse. I was not allowed to use any scented lotions, any scented sprays. I could not go into the sun without sunscreen. I could not go into the sun without wearing long sleeves or long pants. And... If you guys live here in Las Vegas, that is impossible. It's super hot and that's the last thing you want to do is be wearing long sleeves or long pants. Um, and I also, my doctors also told me that I could not go swimming in chlorine because my wounds were opened and because of that, you know, could cause bacteria and also, I mean, honestly, it would just burn um, the ocean, you know, the salt and stuff. It would be painful to go in there and it would hurt, it would burn. I was also told to get hypoallergenic carpet. I was told um, to get silk sheets because the, 
like any type of regular sheets it would like scrub on my skin and it would hurt and it would just be like honestly it would be like a bloody mess like I would wake up and there would be blood on my sheets because my wounds would open up and it was just a mess so silk silk sheets would like help my skin so it wouldn't like rub and you know scrape off I want to also mention that sometimes at night I would wake up extremely itchy and my mom would bring me some ice to put over my body so that it wouldn't itch so bad. It had been by this time about a year that has gone by and it just kept getting worse and worse and I had it on my arms, on my legs, under my feet, I had it on my head, my back, just everywhere except like my face area. Um, I did have like one or two on my scalp. And underneath but on my face area I had nothing so the last skin doctor that I saw which is my current one today they told me that I needed to get a biopsy done on my leg so they just numbed the area and grabbed a scalpel and it's just kind of like a twist one so they just twist it all the way down to the fat and pulled up and you know cut the sample and took it to the lab I don't remember how long it took because this was you know like eight nine years ago but I remember um, them thinking like right away like oh it's something you know greater it could be skin cancer it could be this it could be that it could be more serious but it wasn't thankfully it wasn't my doctor actually told me that I had Petraeus I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it so I'm just gonna write it on the screen but lynchinoids lynchinoidus that's what it's called and I had chronic, so that means extremely severe. They also told me that my type of skin disorder, it was, imagine like a tree, like a tree and then five branches of that skin disorder. So it's the skin disorder, plus you have, you know, the five different types of skin disorder. That's kind of like the best way that I could explain it. And so it was extremely severe. It was, you know, multiple skin disorders mixed in one. That's why my legs, um, look different like in some areas I'll have like a dry patch that looks more like eczema in other areas It's an open wound that won't close um, so That's what they told me I had I guess um, the type of disorder or disease that I have is an immune it it affects the immune system and It results in rashes, so that's what it says online. I don't really know how that works because I feel like a rash you know would go away and my immune system I don't know how it would affect my immune system it also says that it is probably caused by a hypertens hypersensitivity reaction to infectious agents and for treatments there is no standard treatment so being 15 16 you know 17 18 years old it would just come and go, but it seemed like it would always just stay there. I mean, until this day, I still have some of my arms and my legs and my feet. And I'll throw up pictures of or a video of what it looks like now so you guys can see. Um, you know, it's been nine years and I'm still struggling with this. So the treatment for this is, well, my treatment, my current treatment is ultraviolet um, light so basically it's a machine and you get completely naked and you cover they give you like these goggles that you wear to protect your eyes and then they also give you sunscreen to put like in the breast area they give you a robe and you would go into this machine I'm not kidding guys for like about like three to five seconds for like your first month and then it would just get higher and the time would increase that you're in this machine but I think the highest that I, I have gotten was about 30 seconds. And I would get this light treatment twice a week. It would be 40 to 50 bucks, I think I remember, that we would have to pay cash every week, twice a week, um, for me to get it. And be, that's because I didn't have insurance. But <clears throat> it's extremely expensive if you don't have insurance and you definitely need this treatment. It sucks. Um, the treatment itself, like the whole experience, it was easy, quick and out, in and out. But when I would come out, my mom would tell me that I smelled, I mean, we both smelt it. It smelled like my 
skin was like burning from the inside out so it was kind of like closing the wounds and that's what it does it kind of helps with the, like the scarring and just closing up the wound so it's easier like it helps your body to kind of you know close the wound like you would normally if it was you know regular scab currently right now i am starting light treatment again because i moved to a different state for a while and i also was pregnant pretty much the last few years i didn't um, do any light treatment so currently my treatment right now is going in three times a week and I'm also using an ointment for my legs that I have not tried before, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do an updated video on my skin and kind of show you guys when I do go in for light treatments and film that if you guys would want. Another form of treatment that I personally tried was cannabis. I've tried cannabis oils, I've tried, you know, smoking it, I've tried all this kind of all these kinds of cannabis forms. I've heard so many good things about cannabis and even um, like my skincare and all that has that incorporated in it and it does actually work. Um, at this point, I feel like I've tried everything. I've tried lotions, I've tried sprays, I've tried oils, I've tried smoking cannabis, like I've tried so, so many things guys. Like if <laughs> right now for my skin, I generally do not put anything on my skin. I haven't tried the ointment that my doctor gave me recently, but I'm going to start that within the next couple weeks and I'm also going to start light treatments. So I hope this video helped anyone out there that's going through the same or similar things. Please leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in my next video.